Okay, so in this video we're going to look at something called similarity ratios. Um, it's a little bit of a complicated topic to begin with, but uh, once you've done it once or twice it makes a lot more sense. Uh, you can see I've drawn two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. Um, now I'm telling you, these triangles are similar. I'm telling you that. Okay, that's information that you have. Um, in mathematical terms, we can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. Now, it's important that you write them in the correct order. Um, we've written triangle ABC, so uh, ABC is, is similar to triangle XYZ. What we're saying is this angle matches this angle, A and X. That's why we said both of them first. Not because they're in alphabetical order, but because they match each other. Angle B, I'll put two lines there, is the same as angle Y. That's why we said that one second. And angle C is the same as angle Z. It's really, really important that whichever angle is the same as that one, you say them uh, at the same time. Okay, now if two triangles are similar, you're going to get what are called similarity ratios. That, uh, that means that line AC, AC divided by XZ, Okay, so line AC, line AC, divided by line XZ. That's going to result in a ratio of some sort. Is going to be equal to the ratio of line AB, line AB, divided by line XY, which is going to be equal to the ratio between line BC, divided by line YZ. Okay, now um, in practice, in practice what this means is that if this is, um, let's say this has a length of 2 and this has a length of 4 and this has a length of 3 and this has a length of 6 and let's say that this has a length of 4 and this has a length of 8. That means that line AC is 2, line XZ is 4, and that's going to be equal to line AB, which is 3, over XY, which is 6, which is going to be equal to line BC, which is 4, over 8 oops, over 8. Okay, and you can see that these fractions are all the same. If we were to simplify this fraction, we'd get 1 half. If we were to simplify this fraction, we'd get 1 half. And if we were to simplify this fraction, we'd get 1 half. This, these, are our similarity ratios. And you can see that the ratio between this side and this side, this side and this side, and this side and this side are all going to be equal. Um, those numbers will change with, ev with every triangle you do, but they'll all be equal. In the next video, we're going to see how we can use this information to do some actual maths.